Many of you customers wonder why there are so many different types of wedges. I'd like to show you the different types and applications. We have five different types. Minifix, thrust cone wedge, pulls itself into the tree. Quite easy to use, uh, limited lifting capacity. The Ecofall has a higher angle, so it's good for smaller trees as you can lift them higher up, but has li less lifting power, only 10 to 12 tons. The fall fix, it's the lightest wedge on the market, weighs only 1.2 kilogram, very small angle, which brings us a lot of lifting capacity for very light white wedge. Pushes up to 15 tons of lifting capacity and impact machines up to 700 Newton meters. One of the, the oldest wedges on the market and very, very popular in the German spoken area is Fallfast, weighs five kilogram, pushes up to 26 tons. You can connect the impact machine simply as that. And then you can go through the forest with one felling unit and use the touristy tape to cut down the trees from distance. And then there is the Maxfall, the strongest wedge on the market, pushes up to 30 tons, weighs six kilograms and impact machine up to 2000 Newton meters. Now I'd like to show you how to use the wedges out in the forest. Here we have an example tree with about 40 centimeters of diameter. We'd like to cut it down between the other trees in this direction and therefore I'm gonna use the target quick, which gives me very precisely the felling direction of the tree. For this type of tree is the Ecofall Perfect as it is not that large and we wanna have more lifting height than lifting capacity. 10 to 12 tons of the Ecofall is more than sufficient therefore. When we start, we're gonna cut down the roots, cut in the, the felling direction wedge and afterwards apply the wedge. Now, let's go. Cutting off these roots is very important as this wood is not that stable as the tree itself and this can break off when you apply the wedge. Now we're gonna use that one, push it into the cut. This gives me direction of the upper cut. So both cuts meet very precisely with the help of the target quick. I'm gonna apply this again to produce a parallel breaking line. It's easier. And now I'm gonna cut half of the tree, so a little bit more, where I'm gonna apply the wedge afterwards. Now is the most crucial moment when you work with a spindle wedge. We need to enlarge this cut now to apply our Ecofall. You see this one is, needs to go in there, let's say about five centimeters, because the knobs keep the wedge in the tree and we enlarge the cut now. And there are two different ways. I'm gonna show you my preferred one. The chains are tip is at the breaking line. And I incline the chainsaw a little bit and cut here a little bend and then I have a 
smooth and long angle into to the tree where the wedge can be placed. Now we've enlarged the cut a little bit and the wedge can go into the tree. Important is just that the tip of the wedge can run smoothly into the tree and there is no resistance or anything which uh, pushes then the wedge outwards. You've seen I've pushed it in a little harder, a little with velocity that it goes in there quite good. And now we apply pressure on the tree. This has two main advantages. If you apply really hard pressure on the tree, you know the wedge not going to slip out when you cut, when you do your final cut. And the tree already bends a little forward. And when you do your final cut, it does not go backwards. This saves lifting capacity. So basically everything is ready. We are good for the final cut. The wedge is applied. We put some pressure on it. The machine is pretty slow meanwhile. We're gonna, for safety reason, if anything happened, a regular wedge saves the tree if anything goes wrong. So the final cut is gonna be placed a little upwards or downwards of the metal wedge due to the reason that you have not the possibility to contact with your chain the wedge, as the wedge is made of metal, this can harm or damage your chain very hardly. So let's go! That's it. Now we're ready for wedging. Now we've got a perfectly cut tree in the perfect direction, no hang up and with no effort on wedging or anything due to the help of the mechanical wedges and the target quick. And now I'd like to show you something about the maintenance of these wedges. The wedges are all built with spindles of chrome molybdenum steel and there is very important to grease them daily. We have therefore uh, grease nibbles installed in the wedges screw out this little screw then you see you've got one here and one here and these wedges have a semi integrated spindle so here we have a left hand thread and here a right hand thread the half of the spindle is inside the wedge and half is outside and with this reasonable you grease that area and here you grease this part of the spindle and if very important beside the spindle is also the wedge area. Imagine this one pushes 15 tons, 15 tons pushing these steel blades on the plastic wedge. And now to get the max lifting capacity, put grease into this area and this increases the lifting capacity of the wedge a lot and saves you battery of your impact machine. Here it's very easy, you grease it in there, the inner spindle gets greased and the, then afterwards, grease comes here out of a hole and greases this area. If you ever damage any part of the wedge, for example, cut into the tip or anything, you get every spare part from busting. And please consider this is left hand thread, right hand thread um, that you mount it symmetrically, that not the different thread contact the different nut. You can basically connect every wedge with your impact machine. This has two advantages. On the one hand side, you have one felling unit where you can go through the forest and they don't fall apart. And on the other hand side, you can take your forestry tape, put it in the slot, go once around your impact machine. Then you can go a few meters away from the tree, pull on the tape, this triggers your machine and the tree falls over while you are a few meters away in safety area. A few words to the Vollfast. This is a very popular wedge in Germany as it weighs only five kilogram and pushes 26 tons of lifting capacity. Impact, impact machines up to 
1,600 Newton meters. Here we have a completely integrated spindle and the impact machine turns a nut off the spindle. And we need to limit this that the nut doesn't fall off the spindle and that's why we take into consideration at this wish wedge. If the wedge reaches this limit, you need to stop with the impact machine. Greasing similar to the other wedges. If you grease here, the grease comes here out and this greases this surface area. As well as with the small wedges, you can use here also the Foresty tape solution. Put the tape in the slot, go once around the trigger, a few meters apart, and you're in safe area while the tree is falling over. One other great benefit of this solution is you open this clamp and then you can use the impact machine on our auger. Close it. Now you have an auger for planting trees or building a fence. Quite innovative. Here we have the minifix. This is a thrust cone wedge. So it pulls itself into the tree with this thread and the, the force of the tree is laid on the aluminum wedge. Greasing, very simple, just one single uh, greasing nibble. And the lifting capacity is hard to tell for us as it depends on the wood. You can imagine if there is, if you turn farther and farther and at a certain point, the wood between these two threads is gonna torn apart and then the wedge stops. So it pushes more when you have hardwood instead of wood, softwood. We have two nuts to drive, one 10 millimeter socket and one 24 millimeter socket. So you can use it in combination with the fall fix wedge and the fall fast wedge, 24 millimeters. Also very helpful if you clamp your chainsaw and you don't get it out of the tree. You take the impact machine and the mini fix of your belt it pushes it itself into the cut, opens the cut, and you get your chainsaw out. Very helpful tool out in the forest.